This is Space Daily News. For the second time ever, SpaceX has fully stacked a two-stage Starship rocket, once again creating the largest launch vehicle prototype ever assembled. This time around through, SpaceX used building-sized arms installed on Starbase 145-meter tall launch tower. To lift a grapple Starship, lift massive upper stage more than 80 meters off the ground and lower on top of a super heavy booster. After multiple days of apparent troubleshooting and false starts and weeks of proof testing with water bugs weighed in dozens of hundreds of tons, the giant robot seemed to perform perfectly, pausing only once during the ascent. After holding Starship as Dvatsa test weight for about an hour, and attaching two smaller stabilization arms to the side of the rocket, the Mechazilla arms began to lift Starship in earnest around 10.27 pm. Around 10.45 pm, with the tip of Starship at Dvatsete's nose, just two of the top of the launch tower, the lift reached its apogee, multiple SpaceX drones swarming the rocket to document the milestone. At their peak, the tower sounds and swung Starship about 45 degrees until it was directly above Super Heavy Booster's fourth interstage. The launch tower's Starship quick disconnect arm, responsible for connecting the upper stage to ground systems, then swung in, partially deploying the Grublin Super Heavy to fully stabilize the booster. Finally, once the booster was secured and SpaceX was confident in the alignment of the two massive rocket stage, the tower arms carefully lowered Starship onto Super Heavy's interstage, where several clumps grabbed onto the ships. Elon Musk will now have one of the most impressive accomplishments in modern space flights as a backdrop when he presents an update of the same rocket, hopefully shedding light on the Starship's next steps and the roles of Ship 20 and Booster 4 might play in them. Stay tuned for updates on the event.